I'm Chris. I'm here to talk about Airsoft Essentials. I've broken down the categories into four categories. Safety, communications, gear, and weapons. First is Airsoft Safety. The most important safety equipment in Airsoft, some goggles or glasses, safety glasses. But not just any safety glasses, they are ANSI Z87 Plus rated. That's some standardized rating for impact resistance. This is a mask. Z87 impact resistant lens. It's polycarbonate. It protects your eyes and your mouth and your nose and your ears. Here's a mesh mask. I don't trust these on their own, but I wear glasses. So if I had my glasses on, let's just pretend these are my glasses, and then I put a mesh mask over that, I would find that to be acceptable. The reason I don't like these is because it's mesh. It's metal mesh. There's holes in there. Some biodegradable BBs are like powder pushed together with glue and they can shatter on impact. So something can still get through those. What I use mainly, these are ESS profile turbo fan goggles. They cost an arm and a leg. But for me it's worth it because I play a lot of airsoft. It's got a fan. Another reason I like these is because I bought the prescription insert and had my optometrist put in some prescription lenses. So it's like having glasses and goggles in one! Goggles or safety glasses will fog. The best way to combat it is just to keep the lens clean. There's a microfiber cloth and you just wipe it until it's clean. And before a game, you use dish soap to keep it clean, to clean it off. Just dish soap and water. Teeth. Uh, yes, airsoft guns can knock your teeth out. A full face mask is great, or a mouth guard. This is a mouth guard my dentist made. It's a pro form. Next is hydration. Uh, I use a hydration carrier, just like a backpack that you put on, and then you suck through the straw, just like like your Slurpee at 7 Eleven. Yep, just like that. You can use a water bottle or anything, but important thing is to stay hydrated, especially during summer months, because your heat is not your friend, that's why they call it heat exhaustion. When you're transporting your airsoft gun to and from the field, be responsible and use a gun bag, because these are replica firearms. You don't need people looking through your car window and freaking out because they see an assault rifle in there. So, use a gun bag, or at the very least, a gun box. Same thing with my pistol. I got a pistol bag. Barrel bag. It's the same thing used for paintball. Uh, you put the gun in there. Like this. And when you're not on the field, the barrel bag goes on the gun. If you're playing outside, you need boots. They save your ankles when you step in a hole you didn't see. I use 511 Speed 8s. You want the tall boots that protect your ankle. Uh, ankles. You have two ankles, I would assume. <laughs> Hat. I use a boonie because it protects from sun. Kind of protects your neck from sunburn. And it's a good hat. Yeah. First aid is good. I made a little first aid kit. Bandages, face bandage, some tape, instant cold packs. The biggest injury I see in airsoft is twisted crap. Twisted ankles, knees, sprains and breaks and cuts. Least often I'll see people's teeth getting knocked out. Never seen someone get an eye shot out. That's good. Never heard of it either, but it could happen. There's a first aid kit. Yep, everyone knows what those are. That brings us into our second category, which is communication. A little FRS radio. <coughs> Hello. This is pretty important. You may not think it's important. You may think you could just yell to other people, but sometimes you get separated. You're sitting there hiding and you're like, this is dumb, nobody's here. You need to coordinate with your team, but you don't know where your team is. You want to move forward, but there's some noise up there. You don't know if that's your friendly or not. That's why this is great. Having a headset, this is even better because you can hear people without giving off your position. Dead rag. When you're dead, you put this on your head. This is pretty important because if you don't have this or your hands in the air, you get shot. So this is communicating to the enemy that you are dead and that they shouldn't shoot you while you walk back to your base. Third category, gear. Gear, you have to find something that works for you. 
but for me, this is what works for me. This is, I don't know, load, it holds mags. It's got a pistol mag here, pistol mag here, and four uh, rifle mags. Each one of these pouches can hold two mags, so that's eight mags right here, and two pistol mags. And then for everything else, it goes on my belt. Attached to my belt, I have suspenders. These are Harley Davidson suspenders, and they just hold the belt up. I've got a rubber knife here. This pouch I put in grenades sometimes. This pouch I put in random junk. Maybe some tools, a speed loader in there. And right here, this is one of the most important mags, in my opinion. It's a dump pouch. It's just got an open top with elastic, and it's for dumping your empty mags. Once you've fired a mag, you can quickly throw it in your dump pouch without having to lose the mag. Another pouch I have here is a utility pouch. This one, I'll put in extra batteries right here. Right here I've got a little backup pistol. And I can put snacks, my cell phone, my keys in this compartment here. You just have to find something that works for you. And it helps you to be effective on the battlefield. Gloves too! Gloves are pretty essential to me because I do a lot of crawling, protects your fingers. Now on to pouches. <laughs> I got pouches and mags mixed up. <laughs> on to camouflage. Whatever you want. You don't even have to use camouflage. If you play outside, it's pretty important because you want to blend into your surroundings and not get shot because you're such an obvious target. Like if you wore a shirt like this, obvious. BDUs are great because they're they're thick and they make the shots hurt less because I don't like pain. These are some BDUs, the tiger stripe pattern. Usually you choose what you're supposed to wear. Category 4 is weapons. An AEG, that's good. That's a good starting gun. You should probably learn how to play airsoft with an AEG before you go to something like a snipe rifle. Rifle sling, I, I would suggest that. Here's a three-point rifle sling. This lets you bring it up and shoot and then just let go pretty much goes to your side and then you could go for your sidearm. Downside of this is you can't switch shoulders which is pretty important for CQB. All depends on what type of game you're playing. Two batteries is pretty important. If your battery goes dead on the field you don't want to be out of luck. You want to be able to switch to another battery and keep playing. Speed loader, very important. If you're not using a high cap, that is. If you're using high caps, probably two high caps uh, as a minimum. Um, and then if you're using mid caps, I'd say six as a minimum. Depends on how much you shoot, but you'd probably have to reload at least once during the day if you had two high caps or six mid caps. It depends on how you play. As for what AEG to buy, just get what you think is cool. Make sure it's a reputable brand and then go for whatever type of gun you like. I like bolt pup guns, but get whatever you want. Unless you're like a support gunner, bag of BBs would be plenty for a day. The secondary weapon. I like gas blowback guns. This is a 1911 MEU. I have three mags for it, but whatever. The main point of your secondary is as a backup for when your primary gun goes down. And it, it will go down because if you have an AEG, it's going to fail someday. It's going to run out of battery or get jammed or, uh, or strip a piston. There's so many things that can fail in AEGs, any airsoft gun really. So you always want to have a, a backup. Sometimes I even go with a backup to my backup. This is a Springer. But really you want some sort of backup. I see it all the time. People only bring one gun out into the field. Their battery dies and they have to walk off the field. Even if it's a Springer, it keeps you in the game. If you have a gas gun, don't buy green gas, buy propane. Because this is essentially green gas. You get your propane for like $3 a bottle. G -g -g bottle, right? <laughs> and then you get silicone oil. You just put two drops of this every 8 to 10 mag fills. You need to fill a valve for the top. You can get those at any airsoft retailer. Tools for general maintenance. An unjamming rod. Multi-tool and tape should get you through most common problems in airsoft. Yep. Okay. Get out there and airsoft. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comments.